Burning shit with a flamethrower. <laughs> Felt familiar. Far Cry is going back to its tropical island roots and I couldn't be more excited. I'm Brad Bennett with Mobile Syrup and this is my hands on time with Far Cry 6. The game is set during a fictional modern day revolution on the remote Caribbean island nation of Yera. While it takes a lot of influence from Cuba, the setting feels quite unique to play and it's absolutely stunning to look at. If you haven't been keeping up with the story this time around, it centers around the big bad guy Anton Castillo, a dictator played by the legendary Giancarlo Esposito who you'll likely recognize as the main villain in Breaking Bad or is bugging out in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. From what I've glimpsed of his performance so far, he's definitely bringing some star talent to the series. And to be honest, all of the actors actually seem to care and put on a really solid performances. Once you start onto the island nation of Yara, Castillo has plans to modernize it by selling a cancer treatment that he's formulated from the island's unique red tobacco plants. However, while this may look like a miracle cure to the outside world, it's killing people on Yera who are forced to harvest it because of all the chemicals involved. Not really a great trade-off. This is where the main character comes in. You can either play as a man or a woman under the name Danny Rojas, and no matter which Danny you play as, you're going to be a military dropout that gets caught up in the rebellion against Castillos during a pretty well-paced opening sequence. He or she is also fully voiced this time around, making it feel way more engaging to be part of the story. This is a big plus compared to Far Cry 5, which I mean, had a bit of a boring setting and a bit of a boring protagonist, so Ubisoft Toronto, which is developing this game, did not let that happen this time. While I enjoyed both Far Cry 3 and 4 in the past, none of the games since have really drawn me in since they often play out the same story in a new location. There's no denying this can be fun because the Farm Cry formula is a great time to play, but to me, it just got a bit stale. This time around, liberating checkpoints, bases, and other enemy run encampments is just as fun as ever due to the vibrant locations, weapons, and cast of characters. Plus, since you can really customize your weapons, gear, and your character, the game plays out even more like an RPG where you build your character to better suit your playstyle. For instance, later in my test time, I was able to get a pair of scrounger jeans that allowed me to use my repair tool, which you might recognize from the Far Cry series, to fix auto turrets. On top of that, you can get different gloves and hats and add-ons for your weapons or your car or even the pets that help you out. You can get a little dog and all of that can be customized to better suit how you want to play in this really, really impressive looking sandbox. In my time with the new game so far, I'm getting really excited to jump back in once it finally launches on October 7th due to its lush setting. Seriously, if you like the island setting of Far Cry 3 or even I guess all the way back to Far Cry 1, but you thought 5 was a bit dull or any of the other ones, you'll be happy to know that Yera is beautiful and densely packed with things to do. While I'm not going to say anything definitive just yet because I haven't been able to explore at all, it's stacking up I think to be my favorite Far Cry setting yet. The other thing that really stood out to me about this game was the characters. The handful of people I met were filled with charm and since the island is so small, everyone knows or knows of everybody else it seems, which helped to make the missions and the interactions of characters with you and with each other feel really real and grounded. And honestly, there's a lot of humor packed into this script, which was just kind of refreshing to see in the story. I've literally only played the game for about three and a half hours and I still can't get Juan Cortez's rules out of my head since he just drills them in and he's so funny. Make sure to follow Mobile Syrup for all kinds of gaming news and check out our YouTube channel if you want to see some unedited gameplay of Far Cry 6. As always, I'm Brad Bennett. You can reach out to me if you have any questions online at the Brad Fad and make sure to follow Mobile Syrup at Mobile Syrup for all kinds of gaming coverage and other tech news in the future. Thanks for watching.